the disease profiling in China uh, has dramatic changes in the last two decades. Um, the infectious disease, uh, which has been the nightmare, uh, are now no longer the top threat to China, Chinese people now. Um, now uh, the five kinds of chronic disease are the, have becoming uh, the main killer to Chinese people. That is the cardiovascular disease, uh, the cancer, stroke, uh, diabetes, and uh, chronic uh, respiratory disease. As you know, the Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences is the largest national biomedical research organization in China. There is ongoing healthcare reform system in China. This uh, was launched by China governments in 2009. Uh, this uh, results in the import of totally 140 billion US dollars in the last three years at all levels of China. After three years efforts, uh, almost uh, every Chinese people uh, got benefit from these healthcare reforms. Uh, some uh, goals set have been achieved initially, including uh, we have set up the national system for uh, basic drug use, uh, for basic uh, health insurance. Now some goals are, are, are also undergoing uh, to be achieved, uh, including the reform of public health. Uh, so uh, we submit the proposal to China governments and uh, we are designing the effective uh, uh, proposals to China governments uh, how to control the chronic disease, uh, including uh, how to train in the physicians uh, and also how to select the important uh, uh, drug commonly used to control the chronic disease and how to uh, pay much attention or set up the network in county hospitals not only in the uh, top hospitals in advanced uh, cities. So many, many products approved by the China governments are related to the drug discard development for control of cardiovascular disease. Uh, so another area is uh, cancer. Now China has a very unique uh, cancer profiling, uh, including NPC and also infrared cancer and the liver cancer. So also, uh, the scientists in China um, uh, get more and more financial support from governments and also, also from local governments uh, to do research uh, for the control of this particular cancer types in China. Another area I think is diabetes. Uh, you cannot imagine that the incidence of diabetes in China uh, uh, for the population beyond 20 ages years old uh, the instance is 9%. That means up to 100 million diabetes patients now in China. So now uh, we set up the uh, system of the uh, net, uh, national network to do screening and then give them advice how to control the diabetes. Chronic disease uh, is a spreading uh, problem um, and I think not realized by the general people and even by the Chinese leaders. So we need time to tell them and even to indicate them uh, how to control and what's the damage of the high incidence of the chronic disease to Chinese people. Uh, after they realize the importance to control the chronic disease, I think we can get more money, more funding, and even we can take uh, more effective measures at the national level to benefit the people, to improve the life.